Hey friends, welcome back to Garage Event. I'm making kopya curry with coconut base. In local language, we also call it as chauli or alsande kalu. Kopya is rich in flavonoids, magnesium and potassium. It also helps in weight loss, improve digestive health and also enhance heart health. It is best recommended that you have kopya diet at least once a week. I have taken one cup of kopya, washed it well and soaked it overnight. Here you can see the soaked kopya or the alasande kalu as we call in Kannada. Now let's pressure cook the kopya. Transfer the kopya into pressure cooker. Add adequate water until it covers the kopya. Add salt. Pressure cook for 4 to 5 whistles. As the kopya is getting cooked, now let's make coconut masala paste for the curry. Here you can see I have taken 5 round red chilies. I have not used badigi or guntur. This round chili enhances the taste. Here you have tamarind marble size and then coriander seeds 2 teaspoon and this is for tadka crushed garlic around 8 to 10 and half coconut grated. In a small kadai, I am heating a little of coconut oil and I am going to roast the coriander seeds and the round red chilli. Let the flame be under low heat. I will be roasting it for few seconds. If you are a new subscriber to Garage One, please do subscribe and click the bell icon. Also watch my other recipes and do leave your comments. After roasting, cool it, transfer to mixer jar, add the grated coconut, the turmeric powder, the tamarind, adequate water and grind it to smooth fine paste. Here you can see the coconut masala paste is ready. Meanwhile, you can see that I have kept the cooker aside after the coffee was pressure cooked. Here you can see it is perfectly cooked. I'll be transferring the coconut masala paste into a vessel. Add water from the leftover masala paste from the mixer jar. Do not dilute the gravy. Mix it well. Here you can see the gravy has started to boil. I am going to add the cooked copies. The cooked copies will also have a little of the water stock. So see that you do not dilute the gravy more. Mix all well. Here you can see that the curry is getting to a boil. Adjust salt if required. Mix well. As the curry is getting boiled, let's make the garlic tadka. In a small pan, heat a little of coconut oil, add around 8 to 10 crushed garlic. Fry the garlic until the raw smell is gone. The curry is cooked well. You can see the oil leaving the corner of the gravy. I'm going to add the garlic tadka. Give a stir. The aroma of the curry is just awesome. This kopya curry is best suitable with boiled rice. We also have it with red boiled rice. You can also have it with steaming sona masuri rice. You can also have it with dosa, idli or chapati. Delicious, healthy and aromatic kopya curry with garlic tadka is ready. I am sure you are going to love making this recipe. Please do try it and do let me know your views in the comment box. I will be coming with yet another delicious healthy recipes. Please stay tuned to Garajavan. Thank you. Bye.